Hello everyone! Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Broken Sword, the Shadow of the Templars. I am of course a Black Shadow, and when Dwayne decides to get out of my way, thank you very much. Uh, we're still here in sunny Syria, folks. Why don't we say sunny to countries? Sunny Spain, sunny Syria. Good thing you're not gone to Scotland. Um, so yeah, so we're still here in uh, in Malib, folks, and um, where we've gone to a a little bit of a problem, folks. Bit of, we've kind of got them a bit stuck here, folks. Um, so we've gone through the um, the Club Alamo. Uh, we've got Altar, who's happy to take us to the Bull's Head to chase down Klausner. Uh, but he wants $50, which we currently don't have. And we kind of got here and we're a bit stuck as to what to do next, folks. Now... As I did say, at least I believe I said at the end of the last video, folks, um, I did go and have a little route around as to kind of what I needed to do next, just to make sure I was doing the right thing. And lo and behold, folks, your friendly neighborhood oracle was, of course, exactly right. Unfortunately, folks, we have entered the perils of, guess what, another damn pixel hunt. So what we actually need to be doing here, folks, is we need to be solving the mystery of the toilet brush. That's not something I thought I'd ever say in my professional career. Well, there we go, folks. The missing toilet brush, which has forced the uh, the toilet in the club to close. Now, of course, I knew exactly where the hell the damn thing was, folks. And what I mean is that thing there. Oh, yes, folks. Oh, yes. It was a kebab stand, and an ugly one at that. That brush that the guy is using to baste the stuff it was a in... Kebab. It was a kebab. Uh, to baste his kebabs in. That is a, um... Yeah. That is the missing toilet brush, everyone. Unfortunately, I am now being defeated by a damn pixel hunt. I.e. I need to find exactly the right place to stay and so I can actually highlight the damn thing because until we highlight it, we cannot carry on with the game. And guess what, folks? I'm really struggling to highlight the damn thing. It is a problem. So... Eventually... It was a... Oh, God damn it. Come on, George. In the still air, the s Nope. Somewhere, I... Sh oh, man. This is really weird, folks, because we had this here, and we had this to go back in Lokman. I do not remember having all these problems with trying to find the right point in which to bloody, um... Select things, folks. I really do not remember this. I don't know if it's ever happening when I used to play this game, back on the old PlayStation. This is really, really weird. It's also very annoying. Come on, it's right there! George, what are you doing? In the still <sighs> air, the smell hung yeah. around. So until I can highlight this damn thing and look at it, we cannot come out of the game. This is a problem. I can't speak to the kebab man about it. I literally have to highlight the damn thing. And I cannot seem to do it. This is very disappointing. Suddenly, I realized there the we horrific go. truth. The guy was basting the kebabs with a toilet brush. It may never have seen the inside of a toilet bowl, but it was still hardly appetizing. So, good luck with that, everyone. Now that we've realized that the kebab man is using the damn toilet brush, now we need to try and get it off him. This, however, is going to be a problem. Hello again, sir. Hello, kebab? Mmm, yes. Because, yeah, he doesn't want to speak to us about really anything. Well, he doesn't really understand what we're saying. We need to try and get the damn thing off of him. So, whatever shall we do, everyone? Allow me to walk this direction over here. And let's go and have a chat with our old friend Nijo.
Hi, need Joe. When he wants to speak to us. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? Now we can talk to Nidra about it. Look, this is going to sound a bit strange, but I need Arto's brush. What? The brush he bastes the kebabs with? Yes. Let me find some dirty postcards for you <laughs> instead. Um... Nijo, this is serious. Arto stole that brush he's using from a friend, and I want to get it back. Perhaps I could help you, old chap. Uh, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe what? Perhaps what? I do not wish to see mercenaries, sir, but uh, I am a merchant, and merchants trade. Merchant? This isn't Sears and Roebuck here. <laughs> well, if you're going to be disagreeable... No, no, you're right. Uh, what would you like? I seem to recall that you have something that might alleviate my boredom. A globe of delight. Yeah? A conspheroid of heavenly pleasure. You mean the ball, don't you? A tiny spherule of form that barely spans my hand, yet promises hours of amusement. If you mean the ball, why don't you just say so? Can I have the ball back, mister? <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go ahead and give Nija the ball. Remember he was saying he was prepared to do a service for us to get the ball? Well, this is the service. All right, here you go. People say bad things about Americans, but you're okay in my book. What people? What bad things? Never mind <laughs> that now. Remember the brush? Right, yes, the brush. All you have to do with Arto is be polite. Polite? It lightens his day, makes it all worthwhile for him again. How can I be polite to the guy when I can't speak a word of Syrian? Arabic. <laughs> That's what I meant. Simply memorize this phrase. Il ach il kalb. Il ach il kalb. Close enough. Now, go over to Arto and deliver those honeyed words even unto his delicate ear. He won't be able to do enough for you. Really? Really. Well, if you say so. What exactly does il ach il kalb mean? A polite but subtly complimentary greeting. He won't be able to do enough for you. Il Akel Kalb. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. I hope you're right about this. I mean, you know. Il Akel Kalb. Well, it seems a bit of a long shot, folks, but I guess we got no other way to go. Let's have a chat with the Gabab Man. This can only end Hello well, again, right? Sir. Hello, kebab. Mmm. Yes. This should be interesting. Hey, kebab man. Um, il akul kalb. Uh. Filthy, bad, bad. Huh? I kill you. What? What Whoa. the? Calm down. I just... Feet, do your thing. Do your thing? Oh my god! He's got a cleaver! Dear lord! What on earth just happened there? What did we say to him? That didn't look very complimentary. So he didn't seem very subtle. Good god in heavens! Well, now we've done that, we can now head back down. Believe it or not, folks, after nearly being murdered by the kebab man, who did not take very kindly to our complimentary greeting, you will notice immediately... The brush isn't there. Now, I don't know about you guys, we need to go and figure out what the hell we just told that guy. I don't think we can really talk to the kebab man anymore. I'm pretty sure he uh, doesn't really want anything to do with us. So, let's go ahead and have a chat with Nijo and find out what the hell just happened. Hi, Nijo. 
What the heck did you tell me to tell him? Patience, sir. Patience? 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 I've been chased by a homicidal kebab seller, <laughs> and you expect me to be patient? But consider, sir, while you were running from the irate Arto, the irate Arto wasn't using the brush. Hold on. Are you telling me that I've been used as a diversionary tactic? Yep. Your brush, sir. We just got used. I can't believe that you put me on that kebab seller's death list for a toilet brush. The ends justified the means, sir. Yeah, but I noticed it wasn't your butt that was on the line, though. <laughs> they also serve who only stand and wait, sir. Oh, spare me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the important thing, folks, we got the damn brush. Thanks for getting the brush and risking my life to do it. Anytime. Glad to be of service. God damn you. See you around, Nijo. Ta-ta for now, sir. So now that we have solved the case of the missing toilet brush, we can now head back to the club. You could try showing the brush to the kebab seller, but I don't think he does anything, so I'm not gonna bother. And I certainly wouldn't want to let him try and murder me again, so, uh, you know, that's just one of them things. So, let's head back into the club, when the game lets me possess my mouse cursor. Game, thank you. Game, game, game. Come on now. Behave. Thank you. Come on. Don't be like this now. I've got an LP to do here. God damn it. More fancy music, everyone. And yes, the manager guy is still getting down with it. So, we have the toilet brush. Very good. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. This guy really likes you, doesn't he? Ooh, that was a bit weird. Right, so. One thing I gotta check. What does il akal kalb mean? Who teach you that? Nejo told me to say it to Arto. And Arto come after you with big knife, yes? Yeah. yeah. How did you know? I know Arto. You tell him in bad Arabic that his kebab's made from dog meat. Oh, God. I said he was using dog food? No wonder he went crazy. No. Ultar not mean meat for dog. Ultar mean meat of dog. Uh. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. Nijo has a funny way of words, everyone. Look, I've got the toilet brush back. Hmm. You man of action, alrighty. Don't just wave at me. Give to manager. So, we need to go and give the brush to the damn manager. So, we need to select the brush and give it to him. Hello again, friend. There wasn't much point in trying to launch an in-depth conversation. When I couldn't speak Arabic, and he couldn't speak, period. Well, I did know a few words of Arabic, but doubted the wisdom <laughs> hey, of I wouldn't tell it. it to him. Here's your brush, sir. It wasn't easy getting it back. Wee! Look at his, look at his grin. He's a happy man. The manager took the brush from me, gave me the toilet keys as my reward, and stomped off. What was all that about? Manager, he say, bah, look at state of this. Mm. Need much cleaning and detergent before go around my, you bend. <laughs> Get all that? Body language account for much, you know? Oh, yes, indeedy. I think there might have been a little bit of, uh, maybe, slight bastardization there, but hey, it'll do. Either way, we got the keys. That was the wrong button. It was the key to the club toilet. So, let's go use it. Let's open this baby up and see what our prize is for doing all this work and nearly getting murdered by a kebab man. What bountiful treasures could await us? Well, you see... Welcome to the treasure trove. 
If you're expecting anything else, what's wrong with you? It's a toilet. You know, I mean, come on. So, there are still some things that we can do in here, though. We can still look around. What we got here? We have got a, uh... We got, ooh, things. It was a roller towel dispenser. Can we use it? Whee! Look at us go, everyone! We're rolling towels! Very neat. It was a ro it was a roller towel dispenser. Yes, very nice. What else have we got here? We've got a, we got a faucet. The sink was clean, but there didn't seem to be a plug. Can I turn it on? I can turn it on! Alright! The mirror was as clean as anything else in there. Do I look good? Yeah, I look alright. Very good. The sink was clean. Is that on? Oh, it was on. I better turn it off, folks. We don't want to flood another bloody establishment after flooding O'Leary's. That was that was bad. And yes. Hello? Anybody in there? No answer. So I gave it a push. Um. Uh. And I thought the French had strange <laughs> toilets. <laughs> I hadn't drunk anything since the morning, and I didn't need to use it. Thank God. But we can flush a toilet, apparently. The design of the toilet was a little different from what I was used to. Yeah. But a toilet chain is a toilet chain all over the world. Well, let's use it. Smack! Oops. Yep, folks. We broke the toilet chain. And rather than doing something about it, we just simply snagged it. It was the short length of chain I'd taken from the toilet of the Club Alamut. What the hell? There are other goodies for us to take from here, however, folks. Uh, let's go back and have a look at the toilet, uh, the roll dispenser here again. Now, these little keys here, they aren't just for opening the door. We can also use this to actually open this up, folks. And so now that we've opened it up, if we play around with this again, we can actually snag the entire towel. The dispenser had opened easily enough. There didn't seem much point in closing the dispenser. Even closed, it would be obviously empty. So we've stolen the toilet chain and the toilet roll. It was a length of coarse grey toweling from the toilet at the Club Alamut. Yeah, folks, we are regular vandals. We've just robbed the Club Alamut of its toilet itinerary. Only in point and click adventure games. I mean, I don't even think full, the Fallout games get that pedantic. Never mind. So, at any rate, folks, so we've grabbed hold of those few little bits and pieces. However, that still doesn't solve our problem of getting to the bull's head. Altar here still wants his $50, so uh, we still need to go and find that money. So, let's head back outside. Love the music here. It's not as good as the first music. The music changed off from the first time we here. That was really cool, actually. That's not too bad. The music gets a bit repetitive, but hey on. So let's leave here and head back down to the uh, to the market stalls. Now. Your friendly neighbourhood oracle was also largely correct about the other thing that we needed to do here. My memory was stirring, that's for damn sure. I just couldn't quite remember exactly how to do it, folks. Well, we head back over to Nijo. It shouldn't be much of a surprise. You see Nijo now throwing around his bowl. Nijo was a strange one, all right. He was smart. But a simple ball could still keep him happy. Now, you remember how I was referring to these things up here? In particular, this. That statuette was the nearest thing to an antiquity I'd seen. But it still looked like a cheap plaster copy to me. Now, believe it or not, folks, we need to grab hold of this damn thing. Um, although I don't know exactly how best to do this. I think we need to inspect the... It's to do with the cat. I'm sure the hell it be, it's to do with the cat. See, if we go to pet the cat... You'll notice that the cat jumps up onto the uh, onto the stool there. 
So let's actually have a chat with Nijo here for a moment. Hi, Nijo. See how he's enjoying the bowl. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? Uh, This should be funny. Can I ask about these things? Do you recognize these keys? No. They're to a toilet. Thank you for sharing <laughs> that with me. You're very welcome. What does this toilet chain mean to you? Are you building a bathroom in easy installments? <laughs> I borrowed this from the club Alamut. How nice for you. Yeah, and he's just not very impressed. So, two so what we need to do here, if most of it correctly, is we need to go ahead and disturb the cat. And you remember that there was this button on the table here? Do we need to press this now? And what will happen here is the door should open. It hits the ball. The cat gets angry. Knocks the statue down. And the owner gets a bit upset. I think he just took the ball as well. I hope you caught all that. His father had confiscated the ball, and Nejo was bored again. I felt kind of responsible. I hoped he'd get it back soon. Sorry. But what we are after, folks, is we do want this statue that's fallen down. The fall hadn't done the statuette much good. It had lost its arms and gotten pretty chipped. Not good. Let's go pick this up. Let's, um, not tell Nejo about it, by the way. So, apparently, it's in a bit of a mess here. Oh, come on. The statuette looked pretty sorry for itself after its fall, chipped with both arms broken off. But, that doesn't mean we couldn't find someone who might be interested in this. Now, I believe what we've got to do here with the statuette is we need to try and pretty it up a little bit, because the idea of the statuette, as I had suggested, is that we got Dwayne and Pearl who are looking to take something antique back to the US. This statuette should prove pretty useful for that, except it looks a bit rough. So, we're going to go ahead and clean it up. To do that, let's first go ahead... Remember that tissue we got all the way back at the very start of the game? I believe we use it here. The plaster seemed to soak up the grease paint until it began to look like stone. And so, now, our statuette looks a little bit more nice and fancy. That's the wrong button. How many times am I going to do this today? The grease paint had worked magic. Now, it looked like aged marble instead of cheap plaster. I don't remember if we do anything else with this. Do we use the plaster itself on this? No. Uh... No. But it looks nice and pretty now, doesn't it, folks? So let's go and have a chat with Dwayne, wherever the hell he's gone. I'd rather not tell Nidra about it. He might not approve. Hi there, Dwayne. See if we can't interest him in our statuette. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? <laughs> what a guy. Oh, we can chat with him about this? Have you had any dealings with the kebab seller? Absolutely not. Pearl's already had one attack of Montezuma's revenge. Montezuma's revenge? I don't want to know. But, could I interest you in this? What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. Yeah. I had to turn this town upside down. Boy, your luck's better than ours. Looks Roman. I wouldn't know. What'll they say back home? How much do you want, George? Oh, I couldn't. It's the final <laughs> lifetime. I mean... Fifty bucks. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Here you go. Sounds like a good deal to me. And here you go. Very nice, folks. There is our 50 greenbacks. Very, very Thanks nice. Thanks for the money, Dwayne. This will come in real handy. I ought to be thanking you for finding this Roman statuette. Not a problem. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. 
Sounds like a good deal to me, folks. We've got our 50 bucks. Our 50 big ones. Now that we have our cab fare, let's go and find Ulta. Now that we can pay for the cab fare, he can take us over to the bull's head. Well, again, we know Klausner went over there, who apparently has got possession of this lens. We've also s s heard that uh, Khan apparently is also chasing him down. So we can only assume he's gone there as well. Apparently that was a day or two ago, though, or something like that. I think it was. So, you know, we'll have to see how things go. Let's head inside. Bloody pixel hunts, everyone. Here we go. This is what we like. Alright, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll listen to it most. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw down a save state so I can listen to it later on, okay? I won't disturb you now. Things I do for you, everyone. Hello again, old car. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. You're telling me? All right then, Altar. Look, Altar, fifty dollars U.S. A splendid sum, exactly sufficient for an exciting air-conditioned trip to the Bull's Head. What say you, oh adventurous one? Let's rock this joint. Okay, it's a deal. Here's the cash. Ah, most splendid, as you say. The cash price moolah is correct. Uh, Mister, we make with haste. Where exactly is your taxi? Because the only vehicle I can see around here is an aging army surplus truck. Yes? Ah. Ah. Okay, I'll be along in a minute. I think his taxi is an aging army surplus truck. It didn't seem tax. right to take off with the toilet keys, so I left them on the bar. There we go, yeah. So, uh, we leave those, because, you know... What on earth do we need the toilet keys for, folks? I mean, come on. So we're going to leave them on the bar. Be done with it. Do, 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 do. Good times, everyone. So, Altar is over by his truck. If you guys can make him out, it's pretty hard to see back there. Hello again, Altar. You going to say anything? His most splendid and adventurous client. Right, let's get out of here. That's your taxi? Oh, yes. Most assuredly. Most entirely splendid taxi in all Marib. It looks like an old army truck to me. Bah! You Americans with your cheeky board caps and your Judd Hershes. <laughs> you have lost sight of what a taxi should truly be. About four tons by the way. <laughs> there. You have hit the nail in the nutshell. Okay, already, let's go. Regrettably not, most esteemed pair. There uh. is a minor problem of a tiny nature. What's the that? The tan belt has taken it upon itself to break. Damn it! So, what are you going to do? What can I do? I must wait for a ride to the garage for a replacement. How long is that going to take? One day, maybe six. Six? I can't wait that long, we've got to get moving. But how, my friend? I'll think of something. So the fan belt's broken, everyone. And we need to think of something to uh, to fix the car up. Now, I can assure you, we're not going to find a spare fan belt here. And we certainly cannot wait one or six days for a new one. We're going to have to jerry-rig this little machine here. And believe it or not, I believe we actually have the item for this, if I'm correctly. I think it's actually this. Is this any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes! Yes, everyone. We're about to rig a car up with a toilet roll. What has this world Ultar come to? Ultar took the towel from me, cut it in two lengthways, and gave me half back. With his half, he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally done with stockings. Now, if I knot the ends together, so... Serviceable, yes? Very serviceable indeed. Stockings might work on a Bentley, but on a truck, the coarse toweling did the job nicely. 
Come along, my friend. You want to see the bull's head? Yes! We do indeedy. Let's catch ourselves a ride in the most esteemed taxi. To the bull's head! That was a weird cutscene! That felt like it ended too quickly. Maybe it was just me. Later that afternoon... And so... Here we are, everyone! Here, at the bull's head. Apparently, this is where we... This is where we needed to be. This is apparently where Klausner went. Why? I don't know, folks. But, I'm afraid we're going to have to leave exploring the bull's head until next time, everyone. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. And next time, folks, maybe we can track Klausner down. Maybe we can find the lens. We'll see you then.